Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sarge. So I've been seeing a lot of people speculate that the Growl might be making a comeback onto the meta scene. And I wanted to give you guys my opinion on it after running a couple games with it and how I feel it compares to a lot of the weapons that we currently have um, on the meta uh, as far as the AR goes in Season 1. Um, this is the loadout that I'm going to be using it. And this is, was pretty much what I was running in Season 2 with the Growl being dominant in that season and overtaking the meta slot scene. After they had given it a couple nerfs and we saw the rise of the Bruin in Season 3, uh, this weapon has sort of taken a backseat since then. I think one of the great things about this weapon that is different from all of the other ARs is the bullet velocity alone. It almost feels like you have hit scan with this gun because your bullets will instantly connect to targets at extremely long ranges. Couple that with a really good rate of fire, you have a deadly AR in your hands. Now I will say after running a couple games with this that it does feel like the damage is lackluster in those closer range engagements. Um, for instance, if you compare this to the FFAR or the Ram 7, or even the M4, those tend to outshine this gun in the close to medium uh, range engagements. And I think that's what's its biggest issue is that it has taken a hit to its damage that it normally didn't have in season two. And that is why you don't see a lot more people picking this one up versus any other AR that I mentioned. Even the Groza is a very dominant weapon in those close to medium range engagements. Obviously you can run an SMG or a shotgun to cover those ranges, but given the instances where you might have someone close the gap on you unexpectedly, it almost feels like you're more or less likely to lose that weapon exchange versus using an FFAR or an M4 or even a Kilo and that is I think what is keeping me personally from prioritizing this weapon to take that meta slot scene. Also with the nerf to the Kilo which basically brought it down to exactly what it was supposed to be performing like I can see why people are gravitating towards this one. It is extremely accurate, it has a high rate of fire, um, the bullet velocity is insane and so it makes sense why most people would probably pick this one up. But like I mentioned before, the issues that it has with those close to medium engagements keep it from staying on the meta scene. So yeah, that's my overall opinion on running this weapon and how it felt for me. It's a great AR for accuracy and range. Anything closer, you're going to be forced to use an SMG or a shotgun. That's just my two cents. Enjoy some of the gameplay today and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. You're not dead yet. Enemy soldier in oh. Enemy UAV overhead. Extraction <laughs> standing by. Mark an LZ on pickup. Enemy dropping into the AO. Good to 
again. Good to go. Out. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV ah. overhead. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Bring it down and recover the cash. Zero, good copy. Buster strike away. Enemy UAV on the head. We got recon online. UAV entering the AO. Watch the sky. 
guys. Target area is marked. You're cleared hot. This is loader 2-0. Good copy. Buster strike away. Enemy soldier is coming. Good to go. Hilo is in position for your deposit. Bag set. 